So guys, we're going to move on now to our stuffed pork fillet this week. Um, so first of all is we have a pork fillet here. We have sausage meat. We have breadcrumbs. We have an onion. We have sage, salt and pepper, and some butter. So what I'm going to do first is make the stuffing so that it's cool enough by the time um, I go around to stuffing the pork. So just put the butter in to melt first. And when the butter's melting, I'm going to chop up usually a small onion, the onions that I would have in the restaurants quite big. So I'm just using a quarter of my onion. And ideally, with stuffing, if you try to chop it up as fine as you possibly can. And if you're afraid of your butter just um, going to burn too much, just put a wee bit of olive oil in it, and that should stop your oil from burning. Okay? So that's the onions. You can chop them up finer if you want. A lot of people go rice stuffing with onion on it, which is strange. Let the butter near not melt it. I'm just going to add in the onions all on the sage and the smell. It's a bit early for Christmas, but this would be an ideal stuffing for Christmas. Uh, so just going to let that sort of on. So you, what you're trying to do, guys, is just cook down the onions. The smell of the onions and the sage is amazing. And then what we're going to do is add in our sausage meat. Okay. So normally people, some people would say to me, oh, but John, I can never get sausage meat. I can never, um, I can never find it. Guys, if you can't find sausage meat in the shops, buy sausages. Okay. And the easiest way to do it, and I've left a sausage here just to show you, is get your sausage, okay, and just cut it down, take the skin off, the skin will come away quite easy. Okay, and then that's your sausage meat. So you can always find sausage meat. I know it's a wee bit more work. But trust me, the end product is so much nicer with sausage meat than it is with stuff, especially at Christmas. So I'm just going to throw this in to use it up. Just go and wash my hands. So guys, all we're doing now is just making sure that our sausage meat is cooked out. And normally, once again, I would do this in a bigger pan, so you're able to get the sides and squash down your sausage meat. But this is fine. So what we would do in the restaurant is what we have this cooked out and we would do it in big batches. Um, we would put it through a liquidizer just to um, make it a little bit smoother. But everybody's di different what way they like to do the stuffing. So guys, now we move on to the pork. Um, first of all, we have to trim the pork. Um, if you're not confident in trimming the pork and if you're lucky enough to buy the pork in a butcher, just ask them to trim it. A uh, good butcher should trim the pork in two or three minutes and he'll use up the trimmed pork in something. So all you're doing is taking the white sinew off as much as you, you can. Look, I'm not going to trim this perfectly because I know at home you should be panicking. Oh, he's done this so, so good. So I'm just going to take off the worst of it. Okay. So as you can see, most of the worst of it off. And that's all you're looking for. Hopefully you can see that. 
So what we're going to do now is cut this into, do we see this size? We'll do three. No, this one. Definitely could do four very easily. So in your little recipe card, I've set with a split down the middle of your portfolio. Just like that. This is to make it, there is other ways of doing this guys, but I've made it that hopefully you shall try to do this. So what we're going to do now is, if you remember the chicken, it's the same idea. So um, we're just going to get the cling film. So as such, just like the chicken, the, our last time, um, work into the cling film, cover the top. And once again, as I say, I'm using a wee meat cleaver, but you can actually use a rolling pin. great thing about this guys is you can prepare this in the morning and let it rest in the fridge and then when you come home put it on into the oven, put it into the pan and then into You get your free, and as you can see, guys, they're quite big pieces of support pipe compared to before we started. You can see the big there. The whole idea is to try to have each piece of support the same thickness, and then what we do now is stuff the inside of each bit of the port. So, this one. You can see it's the one uh, that I have in period. I'm just going to put some in here. Just like that. Then you can put as much or as less as you want. And just tuck it in and roll it up. Just like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do with period through the food processor. Now the reason why I did it both ways guys, not everybody has food processors at home. So some people panic when she has to say put it through this, put it through that. I'm making it that everybody can make the same things and just adapt. So you move that up. And you will roll that. Don't worry, it sometimes comes out, comes out. So that's your three port fillets. And all we have to do now, guys, is seal them off in the frying pan. And it's off top. So now, guys, what we're going to do is uh, pan, we're pan fry the port fillet. What we're doing is basically sealing it in, sealing in all the flavors and juices. And then we finish it off in the oven for about 15 minutes, okay? So, um, this is the stuff one, so I'm just going to put it up. Make sure your pan is nice and hot. Just 
basically go play about like 30 seconds on each side. Now don't be afraid if some of the stuff can come out. I know that that puts a lot of people off, but it'll be fine guys. And this is a really nice dish for your um, Sunday roast. Um, I would do this quite, quite a lot um, in the restaurant. And the reason why I would do this is because you can do it the order. So it's not as if you're 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 big it like you would have to be around the port for a couple of hours. This can be done in 20 minutes and it's like a roast fish. And if you get adventures like what we we've done before is we've wrapped it up in bacon and it's just adds more flavour. The possibility is endless. And the stuffing doesn't have to be sausage and sausage and hair stuffing. It can be any kind of stuffing you want to make up. Just plenty out there. So that's it guys look. It's nice and sealed. Nice flavour to it. And that's the kind of colour you're looking for. And that's that. I'm just going to put it on the plate. So guys, this is our pork just out of the oven. It did actually take just about 15 minutes. So. A little bit of the sausage meat fatty, but don't worry about that, you can always add that on. I'm just going to slice it here. I'm going to show you two different ways of slicing. Okay, that's just for garnish. Or you can slice it thinner. Okay. Just like that. And what I have done here now is just a little bit of mashed potato. Right.